welcome to episode four. It's been a while, it's been a little bit quiet. I've had the odd Cape Cobra and Puff Adder here and there, and a mole snake in between, but um, it's definitely getting cooler. And as the temperature starts dropping, there'll be a little bit less snake activity. But what I did well and truly going to pick up this morning, and it's my first, is a little slug eater. Common slug eater, or as Afrikaans terminology, a tabak rolaki. So very, very cool snakes, very uh, commonly encountered in homes, gardens. Um, they prefer damp areas, so um, anywhere where there's snails and slugs, that's their main diet. So they're actually really, really cool to have around in the garden. Um, a lot of people might mistakenly ID them for, for a mole snake if they don't know what a juvenile mole snake looks like, um, and various other things, but they're absolutely harmless. Um, they're very docile. Busy little snake, but docile. Um, he's, he's wild caught, he hasn't, he hasn't had a go at me yet. And um, from what I understand, they don't really uh, tend to bite. So the defense mechanism, and that's where the, the, the term uh, tabak rollerki comes from, is that if they feel threatened, they will call themselves into a spiral and hide their heads. Um, another defense is if picked up or harmed, um, they will actually secrete um, a substance from their clochias, which is really stinky stuff. It's not easy to get off your hands, it's a horrible smell. He hasn't done it yet, um, I suppose because I'm calm with him, he knows I'm not trying to hurt him, and as you can see, he's sitting quite happily in my hands. Um, guys, just second to that, as I always say, please do not pick up any snake. You cannot 100% positively identify, okay? I've identified it, I know what I'm dealing with, um, and that's the only reason why he's in my hands. But if you don't know what you're dealing with, what you've encountered, please do not pick them up. Um, all right, guys, so as I mentioned, these guys live on, on snails and slugs. Wonderful to have in gardens, vegetable patches. Um, they prefer damp areas. That's where they'll be com most commonly found. So with the snails, what they do is they'll actually grab the snail um, when it's out of its shell, grab it by the head, and then um, slowly but surely pull the snail out of its shell and eat it just like that. So again, wonderful to have in the garden. This is exactly where this guy's going. He's going straight into my garden. I've got so many snails here. This, this little guy's gonna eat to his heart's content for the next 10 years probably. Um, so really, really cool. Uh, guys, I'm quickly gonna switch cameras. I wanna get a little bit close and just show you guys a little bit of coloration, what they look like. And then, um, yeah, we'll chat a little bit more about him. Cool, let me switch cameras. Right guys, and we're back. Now we're a little bit closer to him. So something I wanna point out. Have a look at um, the very light black speckling that runs between the, the brown on the top of his body and almost that uh, like a grayish green. That's a very common color in the Western Cape. Uh, the color might vary from region to region. So make no mistake with that. But this is the general color we find them in over here. Very, very small heads. Beautiful, beautiful little snakes. Absolutely harmless as I mentioned. Um, and uh, the average size is sort of anything from 25 to 35 centimeters and they don't exceed anything more than about 40 centimeters so really small snakes um, you know juvenile mole snakes are a completely different color i will add a, a photo to this video now so you can see what a juvenile mole snake looks like i have had one or two instances where people have actually eyed it incorrectly as a juvenile mole snake um, i suppose maybe because the head and they think it it looks like a mole snake. So uh, yeah, you'll quite clearly see the difference there. All right, another thing to note, if you'll be able to see it on the camera here, running down the center of its spine, it's got very light black speckling, and that runs right the way down to the end of its tail. Very easy to identify, very small snakes, and uh, absolutely fantastic to have in the garden. So. Uh, yeah, I think let's get to it. I'm going to let him off in my garden. He can go have a feast and an absolute ball. Let's quickly set him off. There we go, little guy. Off you go. And as any snake would do, all they want to do is just move away from you. They don't want anything to do with humans. So, uh, guys, I think that's it on the slug eater. I think he's going to be very happy in my garden. 
Um, until the next episode, take it easy, be safe, and always call your local snake catcher if you do encounter something. Cheers, guys. Thank you.